the tenth topic is to calculate surface areas and volumes now over here you need to know some formulas say for example a prism right pyramid cylinder cone and sphere you will be asked any one of this or some alteration of this which we will solve now but this is very important s is the surface area so surface area means the area which is above or covering the particular object say all this area and say the sides and same thing on the back side left side everything if you measure that now if it's a spear now imagine you cover this with a cloth like exactly or in a plastic bag exact dimension plastic bag the area that is taken to cover the spear is basically the surface area okay because it's three dimensional objects we are dealing with the area is the surface area and the volume is the amount of space that is inside the object if it is a two dimensional object say for example this is a two dimensional object you only have area that is the cross sectional area the length and breadth will be given this is the cross sectional area but now we are dealing with three dimensions isn't it so now we know it is just not the area uh, just not the cross sectional area we also have capacity which can fill this so now imagine this particular cube now imagine you fill anything say water so for just simply a uh, simple understanding the amount of water that can fill this is the volume and the covering the the space that is you know you this slab the slab all these slabs that is the surface area if you add it all so that is about it now simple example say a water bottle you i'm sure everyone drinks through water bottles and now or oh, flask or anything you know so the amount of plastic used to make the particular bottle that is the surface area if you cut it open say my drawings are very bad but i hope uh you and uh, just imagine this is very lame bottle over here and now the plastic used to make this all the sur curved surface you know that is the surface area whereas how much water it can hold is the volume i hope that is clear now all these dimension all these objects are you know um the, you know they have already formulated formulas which you can easily use to find the surface area or the volume but you have to memorize all these formulas it's very important and they're not that hard if you start writing them like a couple of times you will get a gist of it and start solving problems a few times maybe five times and then you'll be through with these formulas so but the formulas over here this is all the surface areas and this is all the volume but now it is very important to understand one thing for this and this we use something called b what is that b and p b is not the base or the height b is the area of the base it's not just the b value like that no it's area of the base now this is a rectangular prism so the rectangle would be the base this particular area would be the base or area of this base now imagine this is six and this is say three you need to find the area that's multiply six times three 18 uh, units square would be the area of the base over here then then what you have to do is multiply by the height h is the height of the solid this is the height now to fi find the surface area p is very important but what is the p over here it is just not the value it is not length or height or something it is the perimeter of the base now this is a rectangular base right perimeter would be two times length plus two times breadth whereas area is just length into breadth so you need to use this formula 12 plus 6 that would be uh, if you just put it over here 2 times 6 plus 2 times uh, 3 again it'd be 18 over here in this case that would be the perimeter so please make sure you understand this p is the perimeter of the base and then height and this b is the bay area of the base then apply it and you will get the answer over here with the right pyramid the perimeter is half times pl plus b 
B is the perimeter of the, uh, sorry, B is the area of the base. Okay, so the area of this. And then P is the uh, perimeter of the base. We just now say it's similar to this. Okay. And then the others are pretty straightforward. It is just 2 pi r h plus pi r square h. Sorry, 2 pi r square. And this is pi r, volume is pi r square h. This over here, okay, there is something important over here that is L. So, L is not the length, okay? It's the slanted length. So, this is very important. If the height is given and the radius is given, then you need to use Pythagoras theorem to solve this. So, that is important to know. So, it would be, if this is, see this is R. So, L would be equal to, that L squared is equal to H squared plus R squared. And then you can take the square root to find the L. This would be the thing. This is the Pythagoras theorem. For sphere, it is very straightforward. Only thing you require is radius. Now, let's see one of this. See, over here we had uh, all this, but we didn't have this particular shape. Now, if you look closely, what is the difference? Sorry. What is the difference? This is a prism. It's not a pyramid. See, it's not a pyramid like this. You can see this over here is a pyramid. This is a prism. This over here is also a prism, but it is a triangular prism. It's not a rectangular prism. It's not rectangular as we just saw a while ago in the formulas. Oh God, everything is going very bad. The drawings, I'm sorry for that. Uh, this, it's not rectangular. This is half of it. I mean, it's a triangle. So we heard, can anyone guess what is the base? It won't be the, um, it won't be the triangle. It would be, a tri I mean, it won't be the rectangle. It will be a triangle, which will be used. So now area of the base, that would be area of this particular triangle. Because when we solve, it depends on which particular shape it is. Now, this method is over here. The perimeter of the base, that is P, is very important. Now, how do we find the perimeter? Over here, this length is given, the height is given, and base, uh, this dimension is given. So, add them all up, you'll get the perimeter. Very simple. There is no formula over here. 2.4 plus 3.2 plus 4. But, how do we find the base? B. B. B, area of the base, sorry, B is area of the base, that is half into base, 3.2 into height, 2.4, this would be the answer, you can easily get it, and once you have P, you have B, all you need to do know is the formula, and over here the height is, the height over here is the other dimension, can you see this, this is the height, H, because this is length, breadth, and this is the, uh, you know, the triangle. See, this is a triangle. All the dimensions over here used. So, this would be the height, okay? So, now, imagine this would be, uh, this would be on the base, you know, like this. And then, this comes up. Uh, I hope you're understanding. I hope I've not confused you more. What I'm trying to say is, now, if I have this particular, whichever I've shaded, see, this region, on the on the floor on the table you know if this is on the base of the table then you will understand this is the height because we have used all these dimensions so the height would be the remaining dimension so in the surface area part p is found out b is found out 2 is a constant but h is this height and volume is very simple base into the height that is 2 that's how we solve it it's very straightforward but once you know the formulas but all the other shapes are very easy and simple. So all these were mentioned, just the formula as it is. Sometimes they might give you the diameter. So imagine they tell you the diameter is 12. Just make sure you find the radius. That would be half of 12. That's 6. So that's the thing. And over here, this is a rectangular uh, square, sorry, square pyramid. Because you can see it's 16 and 16. It's a square, you know, sides are same. So, the same way, you can easily solve it. Now, over here, B is the area of the square. Perimeter is the area of this. Now, you can either add all the sides or just use the formula for the square per perimeter of the square is 4 times sides. That is 4 multiplied by 16 is 64. Or, you know, if this is 16, the other two sides also will be 16. Add them up, 
you will get the answer then just put it in the formula you'll get it same thing over here similar way uh, you can try all this all the uh, methods are they the solve methods this over here is a cone and last over here is a spear so please do try them all and then check the answers over here